<laughs> it wasn't necessarily acting, but I did stand in work for uh, R. Kelly's Trapped in the Closet series. Oh, that's the, I mean, that is the, maybe the, maybe the funniest thing ever <laughs> put on film. It really, it's an amazing thing. I've watched it a lot of times. So what were you doing in that? I did stand in for the cop, the Michael K. Wayne. Oh, the cop, was, yeah. And my brother, this is the truth to my brother, I got them to hire him to do stand in work too. He was, he was a stand in for the little guy. Oh, right. But he's not a little guy. He's like 5'8". Your but, brother is. Yeah. yeah, right. The little guy was walking around like, this my stand in? You know, it was crazy. But <laughs> He didn't uh, like that. <laughs> like, this guy, nobody like me? <laughs> uh, that's, that's, that's guy. <laughs> and uh, it was kind of, it was surreal watching it because it was very creative and what it was. Yeah. But that's when, and this is just the honest guy, too, because for years, everybody's like, well, why don't you like R. Kelly like that? Uh-huh. And it was because of that experience. Of what did he do? So, and this is a true story. Hey, look, I, I first of all, I, look, I'm from Chicago, and it's ain't, you know, Chicago, like, why you gonna put up on the bus like that? But this is what happened. Okay. So. <laughs> Go for it. Yeah, There was tell another us. stand in a young lady that was actually one of his background dancers, too, for uh -oh. a couple of his tour stuff. Yeah. And we were just talking the whole time, getting to know each other, laughing, having a good time. But every time she laughed, I found him just, like, staring at me, like. Oh. <laughs> So we come back to set the next day, right? She's not talking to us at all, right? At all. We like, yo, why she not talking to us? And I walk over to her, I pull it to the side, like, yo, what I, did I do something? She's like, no, nah, he he doesn't want me talking to y'all. Who? No I said, who? Robert. <laughs> I ain't never called R. Kelly Roberts. I'm like, who? <laughs> come on, Robert the Crafty? <laughs> uh, <laughs> wow. Yeah, so she didn't talk to us the rest of the time we was filming it, and it was just like, it was just crazy. And I remember him like smirking about it, right? Oh, like, really? Like, <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> Have you seen him since that? Yeah, it's, oh. it's, it's happened. So the second time we had our run in was that, and it's, once again, I was at John Singleton's birthday party. And okay. he was there. And I guess he wanted to meet me, so he sent somebody to me. Oh. And we all in this VIP area. It wasn't like it was, you know what I mean? It was a party full of celebrities. Ain't nobody went back like, hey, send, send people. somebody over yeah. here. So he sent somebody over like, hey, yeah. Uh. <laughs> Rob is a big fan, man. He wanted to meet you. I said, right, Kelly? <laughs> man, I'm good, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, wow. It's a true story. Oh, I believe it. So, I'm like, I'm good. And this thing about it, it wasn't even about the allegations with me. It was how, like, he was just, he was so extra like that sometimes, man. And I ain't like that. And like, everybody know I'm from the west side of Chicago, so I own who I am. We don't, we, that's too much, bro. You, you don't wanna, call somebody just come over. Just speak to me, fam. Mm -hmm. the same city. Say, what's up, real? I love your work. Hey, and we'll do it. Well, to he, send somebody, that You know what? So He's not me. great with decision making. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think if we've learned anything about R. Kelly, <laughs> this is a man who believed he could fly, and he can't. Yeah. Well, it's great to see you. <laughs> I hope you don't run into him again. <laughs> I mean, it don't really look like that's going to happen anytime. Yeah, no, no.